Welcome everyone for worship open for everybody. Today is May 23rd, 2021. Today is Pentecost, Holy Spirit Sunday. We're going to look at 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 18 through 25. Today's title is Always Be Patient and Brave. From basic Christian training, Jesus came to the world in the flesh, but his birth was not the same as other people. He was not conceived through sexual intercourse, but through the Holy Spirit. Why was he conceived through the Holy Spirit? This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because if Jesus was born as one of the descendants of Adam like you and me, he would become a sinner and not be able to die for others. Jesus was born through the power of the Holy Spirit so that he could die for us. Let's pray together for the intercessor prayer points. Let's pray for the persecuted churches worldwide. Number one, North Korea. Number two, Afghanistan. Number three, Somalia. And unreached people groups in India, Pakistan, China, and Bangladesh. As you shared, violence against Christians rises dramatically in sub Saharan Africa. The top six countries where Christians experience the most outright violence, five are in sub Saharan Africa. Nigeria, which re-entered the top 10 for the first time since 2015, saw the most violence against Christians in 2020, with armed bloody militants killing, burning, kidnapping, and raping with impunity. Islamist violence is also why Cameroon rose to 42 from 48, and why Democratic Republic of Congo and Mozambique are new entries to the top 15. As you look at this map here, unreached people groups, countryside proportional to unreached people group po population. Let's pray as you look at this picture and pray for the persecuted countries as I mentioned. Let's pray. Father God, as we experience the Lord, your presence, we pray for the countries and areas persecuted because of their faith in Jesus Christ. Lord, the violence against Christians dramatically increased in sub-Saharan countries including Nigeria, Cameroon, and the Democratic Republic of Congo and Mozambique. Lord, have mercy on them and Lord, let them be strengthened in their faith even though they're going through this hardship and persecution lord give them faith and even the, through their endurance christ jesus will be revealed to all the people in that area and countries lord bless them and let them open their eyes to see and welcome the living god and also we pray for the countries mentioned here in the map and they are most unreached people groups are in India. Lord, help this country be recognized and pray, prayed over by many people in the world to come back to the Lord and turn their eyes on the Lord. Lord, show your miracles to let them 
believe in Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The next one is for situations in India where COVID 19 is increasing suddenly and very dangerously. And also, pray for peace in America. Anti Asian crimes is rampant and spread all over. And also, the, let's pray for the Middle East where Israel and Palestinians are fighting and for peace there. These two pictures here, the on the right, on the left side is India's the street. There is a cremation is going on in the street in the parking lot, and also this picture on the right is the tag between Israel and Palestinian, and also the picture here is in America. There is a hatred is going on. A hate crime is should be stopped. This is the picture that I showed. From Myanmar. Let's pray. Oh, Father God, there is hatred and unrest is going on in Myanmar, in America, and in the Middle East. Lord, you are the King of Peace and Lord of Lords. Please come and reign in these countries. And Lord, as we pray also for India, we just prayed over this country just before because of Christian persecution and also the on which people groups now we also pray for this country because this country is going through the worst situation in terms of COVID-19 and cremation is going on in the street and parking lot in the neighborhood and also that's endless cremation is going on and unconfirmed cases are skyrocketing lower the uh, medi medicine medical system is disrupted Help them to overcome this situation and let their eyes open to see the glorious Lord who can save them out of all the darkness and troubles. And Father God, comfort them and Lord, bless, bless them and be with them. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And next, let's pray for carbon fast campaign climate crisis the Lord is working in this country and this globe because of this seriousness of climate crisis and also for your church and your family on this Holy Spirit Sunday for this week you can visit nearby supermarket or dining hall or restaurant and you can ask them to stop using single-use plastic bag or plastic straw you can make suggestions and you can make petition to your neighborhood shops and government offices you can go ahead and write and visit and you can send messages and your voice should be known for this week okay along with this let's pray for your family and church let's go to lord
oh God, let our hearts open to think about the planet that you have given us. Lord, not only for our lives, not only for our own issues, let our eyes open and wide to see this globe. This planet is going into Anthropocene. Sixth, mass extinction. Let our eyes open. Let all, let all of us be aware and awaken of this global situation. And let's go hand in hand and bless, bless this planet and encourage one another to go ahead and save this planet. And through that, we can reach out all the people who are interested in this. And also, Lord, we pray that our pray for our church and family, so that our church and family be the channel of blessing for all the nations and peoples in the world. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Okay, if you have your own urgent prayer requests. If it is about you or your country, please send me so that I can pray for you. Thank you. Okay, let's read today's passage. It's from 1 Peter chapter 2, verses 18 through 25. It's provided by Easy English Bible Version. Verse 18. You who are slaves must obey your masters. Always respect them. Do that to every kind of master. Obey those who are good and kind. But also obey masters who are not fair to you. This makes God happy. Maybe your master will punish you when you have done nothing wrong. If you know that you are serving God, continue to be patient and brave. Verse 20. But if you do something wrong, then your master ought to punish you. That is only fair. Even if you are brave when it, he is cruel to you, nobody should praise you for that. But your master may punish you even when you have done good things. Then God will be happy if you are patient and brave when God chose you to be his servants. He wanted you to be brave like that. Christ had the trouble and pain on your behalf. He has shown you how you should live when trouble comes. Verse 22, the Bible says this, He never did anything that is wrong. He never said anything that was not true. People inserted Christ, but He did not say any bad thing to answer them. People caused Him to have trouble, but He never tried to hurt them in return. Instead, Christ trusted God to help Him. He knew that God always judges people fairly. Verse 24, when Christ died on the cross, He carried our sins in His own body. He took, his puni took this punishment so that sin would no longer rule over us. Instead, we can now do the right things that God wants us to do. Because people hurt Christ's body, you have now become well. Before you were like sheep that were going the wrong way. Now, but now you have turned around turned around to come to Christ. He is our shepherd and he keeps you completely safe. Amen. With today's message, we'll wrap up chapter 2 and from next week, we'll start chapter 3. If you look at verse eight, 18, I can say that your action, my action comes from my identity. Who am I? Who do I think I am? That will affect how I act, how I behave myself. How good and kind your masters may be. You must be obedient. Regardless of the kindness or unkindness or fairness or unfairness of your masters, we must obey our masters. Your commitment should be faithful no matter what. Your circumstances cannot be the reason to change the depth of your obedience. That's the relationship between 
master and slave. Verse 19. I put the title Patience and Bravery. Sometimes you may face difficulties even though you didn't do anything bad in particular. Yes, that, that may happen in our daily lives. So what comes to your mind when trouble, troubles come at you? What comes to your mind? Personally, when trouble comes, I just stopped and fuming inside and it's like a rice cooker. And then over time, it makes a sound <laughs> and it's spreading all this evaporation vapors out of it and it has pressure inside just like that did i do something wrong is it because because of myself or anything the words that i said what is this matter i asked all those questions at the moment but later on i found out this is not something i did wrong yes there must be something i did wrong i need to mend the wrongs and fix the mistakes also along with that i try to try not to lose my heart do not ever lose heart by disappointing matters yes that's what i found from this verse so wonderful yes do not ever lose your heart by disappointing matters and confusing and uncertain matters Verse 20. How can punishment be fair? Wow. How can this come, come together? Punishment and fairness. This is the question you can ask here as you read, as, the, as you meditate on these verses. What is your definition of fair treatment or equal opportunity? Fairness comes from whether you did something good or not. Righteous judge, however, is our God not ourselves so we cannot say this is fair this is unfair this is equal this is not equal this is i cannot stand it you cannot say it. righteous judge is our god not us we cannot judge which is what right and which is wrong so so much so that we need to turn to god and depend on god completely verse 21 encourages us to be brave like Jesus Christ. Be brave. Be brave. Don't be afraid of anything. Jesus Christ is our guide. He's a forerunner. He's an initiative of everything we may possibly be. When afflictions come, remember where you belong to. Where you belong to? That's the question. Where do you belong to? Lord Jesus always leads the way. He is a model to live by. Jesus has experienced our sorrow and troubles, even worse than them. More importantly, Jesus took up our trouble and pain on our behalf. So don't be afraid. Rather, be brave like Jesus Christ, because Jesus took up our troubles and pains on the cross. So with that, we can endure and we don't need to pay back. Just like waves of sea, hardships and struggles would happen every now and then. As Jesus was victorious, we shall overcome. If you trust God's ever-present guidance and help, you would not try to revenge and point fingers at others. If you look at verse 25, but now you have turned round and come to Christ. Do we see people turn around and come to Christ in, in your life, in our lives? That would be wonderful to see people transformed in faith. So how is it possible to experience that? When the Spirit works through our prayer for them, wonderful salvation would come upon them. From today's 
message we can see as fervently the working of the Holy Spirit as fervently the working of the Holy Spirit wonderful grace is revealed only in Lord Jesus the Holy Spirit makes everything possible to each and everyone so it's really significant to have a heart of full dependence if we believe that the ministry of the Holy Spirit is the only answer to overcome the status quo we may become desperate and fervent in prayer if we truly believe God is all God is Almighty and our Heavenly Father we turn to God and prayerfully wait for the answer from God are you praying are you trying to solve every problem through full dependence only on God or do you still have something to rely on it's time to drop every dependence the Holy Spirit is our soul and last resort I'd like to share today's open doors prayer for the persecuted today's title is rejoice in the Lord always <clears throat> we all know God does not necessarily answer our prayers in the way we want or in our timing and because of his sovereign nature this is a good thing but in our humanity it is encouraging to our hearts and minds when we can see his faithfulness in answering them Thank God for His provision of a safer home and trauma counseling for 12-year-old Daniela and 5-year-old Sebastian after the murder of their father, Pastor Salcedo, in Colombia. Pray the children will grow in their love of Christ what their father would want, Daniela says. Let's pray. Oh God, we give thanks to you for your provision to these people. Father God, for safer home and trauma counseling for 12 year old Daniela and 5 year old Sebastian. Even though they witnessed the dying and martyrdom of their father, oh God, give us a heart to pray for people like these. This story is real and this is right now. Lord, let us ask fervently for the ministry of the Holy Spirit in our spirit and all the people that we pray for and people in persecution and grief and sorrow-stricken life. Oh God, you are the only dependence that we can turn to. God, pour your spirit upon everyone so that we can obey our true master. And by the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, let us be renewed and awakened. Thank you, Lord. Bless everyone. 
for going through the dark moments in India, in America, Myanmar, and Israel and Palestinian. Oh God, many other countries, your presence is desperately needed, <clears throat> needed Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and love our Father God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with everyone who worship God and give you glory and honor from now and forevermore. Amen. <clears throat> with that, this wraps up today's worship service. And thank you everyone for coming and joining this worship service. And I hope to see you once again next week. And until then, let all of us be filled with the Holy Spirit on this Holy Spirit Sunday. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, everyone.